Ah, let's settle down to another vidIQ video. Wait a minute, what channel is this? Hmm, he thinks this is a breach of our copyright content. Time to make a claim. vidIQ. vidIQ. vidIQ.com When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta, but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. This is the new Creator Studio dashboard, and from here you want to click on the copyright section down the left hand side. When you first visit this screen, you will need to read the guidelines and agree you understand how to use the copyright matching tool. This tool should be available to all creators in the YouTube Partner Program. Once you have access to the tool, the main screen will look like this if there are any content matches. YouTube uses the earliest upload of the original content to know who to match it to. Duplicates uploaded after are displayed here and show you the video details such as the number of views, upload date and the channel with the matching content. The percentage match of a video against your original and the three actionable steps you can take to protect your content. The first action is to simply archive the match. This means that you have taken no action but have acknowledged the content ID match. There is an archive tab at the top which you can click to take you to all of the previously archived matches. You can click on the three dots to the right here to take a new action if you want to. The second action you can take is the strongest one and that is to request that the content be removed. First click on the warning sign and then confirm the request to remove the video. Once you've confirmed this action a lengthy form will pop up that you need to complete in full. This action should not be taken lightly as you are claiming ownership of the content which in extreme cases you may need to defend legally. Because of this there are three legal agreements you need to check before you submit your request. Also consider the impact on the channel you are claiming against. If you request a removal now this will instantly serve a copyright strike against a creator. If you schedule a 7 day notice this at least gives the creator a chance to remove a video and protect their channel. Of course, this decision is entirely up to you. Once you've submitted the video removal, you can track its progress from the removal request tab. Do note that you may need to take further action to get a video removed. If you think all of this is a little too drastic, you can take the nicely nicely approach and simply contact the creator using your content. This will automatically generate an email template that will be sent to the creator, warning them of what they are doing and what could happen. All you need to do is add an email so that you can have a conversation if required. Let me know if you found this beginner's guide to the copyright matching tool useful by giving us a thumbs up because that's what we do here at vidIQ, educate you on your YouTube journey. And if you want to take your YouTube channel to the next level, make sure to download vidIQ, the Chrome extension that will help you research YouTube, analyze videos, audit your own channel and take actionable steps. There is a link in the video description, it is free to download. For more YouTube's beginner's guides tips just like this, check out the playlist over here. For more tips about how to grow your channel, check out the playlist down here. We'll see you on either of those videos right now and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your video making day.